everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Chicken Bone Alley brought to you by Earl Ramey Racing Engines, SRI Performance, Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, and RK Motorsports Consulting, and Profab Headers and Exhaust. <laughs> what is up? I'm David. I'm Sterling. What's up, y'all? We well, get I'm, we get done listing all our sponsors. It's time to close the show. It's I know. Just, uh, good night. No, <laughs> later. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna make a recording. You know, we've been saying that for th- th- almost. Yeah, for, but for, now I need to. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So it wasn't a need to. Now no, it's a need to. Now it's a need to. We we are definitely blessed. We are to yeah. have some good guys, good 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 people backing us for sure. That's for sure. So pretty sweet, man. What was up with you? I don't know, man. It's been a wide open Monday already for me. Uh, oh. Started the week, yeah. It's been. Well, you come out with locks hanging off your belt and stuff. I figure something. Yeah, happened. I've been in plants and been all over the place, uh, crawling all over a bunch of, bunch of machines and all that. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy. We got a lot of big work coming, shutdown stuff this week from people up in Raleigh area. So, um, they'll be coming in tomorrow. So we'll be uh, wide open with that. Hopefully, it's not an all day and all nighter thing. I'm gonna try not to do that, but. <laughs> It's got to be back Friday morning, so we'll see uh, yeah. See what happens. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's been good, man. It's been good. Weekend was good. Um, I really think we need to, like, a, we need to, like, a, everybody to get together and say we need a Monday through Thursday work week yeah. and a Friday to Sunday weekend. I really think that would be more. I was off today, so. Well, <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> President's Day, bro. <laughs> I'm George Washington's off birthday. Pre- oh, well, yeah, I'll take off. George Washington's birthday. birthday. That's what day was. Yeah, we just won't get into that. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, I worked for sure. Uh, but um, had a good weekend, man. We really did. We uh, It was quick. Um, had our last official, as R&R sounds, we did. wedding this weekend. We did. Um, at the Bean Market in Lake City. And Sterling said... You know, a couple weeks ago when we was going into it, well, it's the last one, man. We're going to go out. We're going we're gonna to take the big speakers with us, and uh, we're going to go out with a bang. You know, we, they'll probably be wanting to party half the night, so we we good. It's the last one. It's the last one. Nope. What happened, man? <laughs> How's that? And I told him then, I said, yeah, you say that now until all of a sudden we get yeah, there. <laughs> you're right. You exactly what's right. You, I, I can't <laughs> knock you because you're right because I was ready to go before we got there. <laughs> But no, nah, it was good. They got tired of seeing us at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I ain't lying, man. I was luckily we had us a nice little restaurant to walk to, um, from there. But uh, yeah, it was good. We had some good friends of ours got married. Um, so uh, it was pretty cool to do the the last one, I guess, the last food ride with them. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's good to. So congratulations, Grace and Toby. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. They're good. not listening, but you know, <laughs> nah, they probably don't. They're not big uh, us fans. I don't uh-huh. think. I, don't, I mean, you know, <laughs> I but doubt. you know, they might be. But anyway, nonetheless. Um, so anybody want a photo booth? We got one for sale. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. It it's takes, a great business to get into. It takes wonderful pictures. It does actually, and it's, it's really good cool. money. It's very good money. For a short amount of time, and you do absolutely nothing. So yeah, it runs itself. I mean, yeah, so literally runs itself. Serious inquiries only. Yes. Message us about it. We can get you hooked up. I love. They would even go with you and show you how to work I, it. All. I, I mean, if I have to go with you the first time, you use it. I, I, I hope you're not in it. North Dakota or anything. I hope you're not. I mean, you paying for. I mean, you can, but you paying for a flight and <laughs> hotel and all that. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, and you paying to ship all that stuff out there because I ain't gonna be able to just throw it in my uh my carry on by no means. Nah, but uh, it look well. I say it's simple. It looks really simple to operate. I've actually never done it, <laughs> but he has, and he's very good at it. So you know, he got you hooked up. His, it is really simple to operate. It's, actually, uh, well, I don't know. I just I just put the stuff together and plug it up. That's what I do. That's my part. Yeah. So anybody looking to get into photo booth business, go for it. I thought about, and I ain't gonna lie, I, I thought about, you know, I don't know if me, y'all know this, and we're, I'm gonna get into this a little bit more tonight. I'm gonna be going to some racetracks, doing some, uh, some live, well, I, I don't know if I really, I mean, there might be some live stuff on there as far as, uh, doing, uh, Facebook lives or something like that, live podcast, whatever, I don't know. Might be doing some stuff like that, but I'm gonna be still DJing, but under the name of Chicken Bone Alley, uh, DJing some pit parties and, Stuff yeah, uh, cool. like that, and then doing uh, some driver lunches and interviews and all that good stuff. Um, 
First stop's going to be at Livonia. Sweet. March 18th and 19th. It's coming up. Uh, yeah. It's coming up pretty quick. So, yeah, that's going to be cool. And uh, definitely be able to yes. see yes. see uh, David and hang out with him. And, and uh, I can promise you he put on a good show. You'll enjoy yourself while you're there. We're going to have fun. I, and I thought about, you know, keeping photo booth in there. And nah. <laughs> That is uh, too much at a racetrack. Well, you could set it up open air in Victory Lane. That'd be a good. That'd background. be really cool. That that'd be really be cool. But you know how dirty that thing would get. Terribly dirty. Yeah. I'd have to put a cover over it during the races, and then all of a sudden, yeah, that would take it off, and yeah, it just be. Work. Probably will. I mean, it will work, but not. Just take landing wedges, set him out there, and let him take pictures. Of everybody, be all right. Yeah. Here, here's cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, nonetheless, it was good. Um, it's been a good run. We've done a whole lot of weddings. A whole lot, you know, um, fairly short amount of time, I guess you say. Yeah, I guess it's been what five, four, five years, I guess now. Five, five um, years that we've that we've been doing uh, twenty to thirty weddings a year, I guess. So I, say, and I was doing some before you started with me. Right. Yep. So uh, it's been good. It's been a. It's been a good. Uh, it, it's it's a good avenue to make good money doing it. It is. It just takes up a lot of your time and. Uh, you know, with family and everything else, and other things you want to do, is is hard to uh, it's hard to juggle all that at one time. But uh, especially now, David getting into the more track side stuff and and growing where he should, um, I think that's definitely the place that he needs to be with that um, equipment. And so for the most part, we're gonna keep all of it. <laughs> if yeah, for the mo- I mean, we got a few things probably get rid of here. I'm on. I, I got some. I, gotta, I was looking through stuff the other day in the shop. I got a pile of stuff still sitting over there. Dude, there's, there's a pile of stuff and, here in the shop. I know. It's like spread out. and We got stuff everywhere. We went a little crazy to start with, I will be honest with well, you. Well, we we got big speakers, a lot of speakers, and so, and it sounded amazing. Yeah. It was we could run a, absolutely we could amazing. Run a Nickelback concert or so. Look at this photograph. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just pulled it We did photo booth. <laughs> we got you. We got you. <laughs> Yeah, we it. almost could. Nah, when we started, we almost could, and that's what we were running for weddings. <laughs> yeah, it was a little. Uh, uh, a little it was overkill, impressive. but it was. Hey, we were good. We liked we liked loud music, so it was all it, right with us. And all of a sudden, the second year we were doing it, we booked thirty six weddings. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, it worked. It did. It definitely did. But uh, then we found out we weren't twenty years old anymore. <laughs> no, nah, it was kind of tough carrying all that stuff in. No, uh, uh, we needed but, a crew. Yeah, we definitely did. Uh, but anyway, nonetheless, good deal. It was, it was good, and uh, uh, it was fun while uh, while it lasted. We had a lot of fun. We went a lot of places, saw a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people multiple times. A lot of people get married. Nobody got married multiple times. We did have one call us back to rebook. Yeah, you're right. But we did at the same place. We never. She never ended up confirming it. So I don't know what happened there. I don't either. But, but she did call us back to rebook another one, and she was going to get married and had a reception all at the same exact yeah. place she did her first marriage. Yeah. So uh, man, that's crazy. Man, you see a lot of just different things, and and it, the the wedding industry is huge, and it ain't going nowhere. No. Um. And it's only getting more and more around here, and and you know, but um, anyway. So anybody in in this area for sure that's looking into getting into that kind of stuff, you know, holler at David. He can hook you up, uh, definitely with the photo booth probably, and uh, get you going in some in the. I probably got enough stuff somewhere to set you up as a complete DJ. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure we got enough <laughs> we stuff can. in there. Um, so. we'll put you in business completely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, and uh. So, <laughs> Got home at twelve forty five uh Sunday morning and then right back <laughs> up to come to church uh yesterday. Uh church was great, um as always for sure. Uh, it, it was great. It was audio great. was not good. Well it was it ended up being fine. Ended it, up being well, fine. But this is a it's a it's a chase every week. We had big issues this week. Man, did we have some big issues. And no yeah. uh Oh, Mark pulled it out up there and got right. it straight. Mark knows his stuff with it, man. He really does. But it's just, it's just, it sucks for him to have to go chase yeah, all this stuff every single week. And oh. why this quits working and why did, that quits Did you get the text today? Did he send it to you too? No. Okay, well, it, just just letting you know. We're probably going to change a bunch. Um, we got a practice coming this Sunday night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then the men's yeah. thing afterwards. 
Okay. All right. Cool. So. Cool. 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 Well, um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll uh keep working at that, keep getting it better. But uh, yeah, left there and and I know you hauled buggy and went to cook. I hauled buggy and went to uh watch the race. <laughs> um, I listened to it. Well, I listened to it on the app while I was cooking and everything, or yeah. eating all that, and then they wanted to play a game of horse. There was like 15 people playing horse. That's the longest oh game ever. gosh, yeah, that's a, that's a long So I listened to the race the whole time I did it, and then I got home and rewatched some of it. Yeah. Well, I didn't miss a whole lot, I don't think. It wasn't. Oh. I mean, it was, you know, I guess we can go ahead and talk about that now. We might as well. Yeah. Um, Roll into it. I don't think it was anything major different. No. What I saw. Speeds um, were down, but that's why they didn't show speeds. Well, much. <laughs> well, they did. I mean, you know, the fastest I saw was maybe, I can't remember, 190, 191. I yeah, that's remember. what I'm saying. They weren't so, hitting the 200 mark, well, which is but, fine with me, though. Well, well, what I thought was is that would create more pack racing, but they really wouldn't. There wasn't much three-wide stuff going on. I mean. I think people were. Hesitant. I think it could have. I yeah. think it could have made more pack racing. I just think they just were like, ah, nah, I'm going to stay out yeah. as much as I can. Yeah. Um, I want to go back before the cup race, though. Um, truck race, pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, same package as last year, essentially. I mean, yeah, they changed front ends a little bit on Toyotas. It kind of, I was watching, I was watching Stuart Friesen a lot because if y'all watched our Facebook, any, uh, he's doing big, SRI performance promotion right. month of February. And so I was kind of following Stuart for a long time there. But our buddy uh, Ty Majeski ran up front there for a long time. Um, yep. Then he faded back, or fell back. And I was like, all right, maybe he's just going too back. Well, then about 30 laps ago, Stuart was, I think Stuart Friesen was running about sixth, seventh, eighth yeah. area. Well, all of a sudden they got crazy up there and he just dropped out. Looked like he dropped out and just yep. went to the back or the back of the lead pack or whatever well to me with the trucks and i don't know what was causing this because normally they've been able to kind of pass and uh-huh. go wherever they wanted but once he went back there was just no yeah you really couldn't move i mean <laughs> no moving you know, like back matt, up matt benedetto started i mean he started pretty deep 28 maybe or something like that and he never really could move up like as soon as you fell to the back you just could not make your way back up through there no. um i don't know why that was but uh yeah I, I noticed that too and um but it was a pretty it was a pretty good race from what i pretty good got that uh big wreck there coming to the white flag it was like yeah. six feet before the line and they hit the button yeah they just uh barely saved that one but um Old Zane, Zane Smith. Uh, he was leading when they would have thrown the caution in, and he ended up winning the race. So things wouldn't have changed as far as the winner, but um, yeah, tore up a bunch of race cars, and uh, that's an expensive, expensive race. I know everybody probably saw Kyle Busch <laughs> yeah. walking around the most expensive day ever, ever with the pockets hanging out, you know. And I, I, I can't blame him. I mean, I. At least he's more transparent when it comes to that, because I mean he's even said before that you know to to, to win at Eldora I think was fifteen grand at yeah, that point, it, and a body is fifteen grand at that point. Cost him, yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. so and, and you don't hear a whole lot of about that side of it uh, with owners and, and stuff. But at least he's more transparent with that. But you know that stuff costs a lot to hang a body for a Daytona. I mean it's a lot more than Eldora, <laughs> I, I would say, um, but. Uh, nonetheless, um, good race it was. Uh, moving on to the Xfinity race, that was a good race too. I I enjoyed that race. I mean, we yeah, got to see. That was um, a pretty good race actually. Um, I don't know what it is, and I'm t- and I hope it changes with this new car. Um, uh, but the Xfinity series to me has put on the best racing on was, any track. Wow, yeah, on any track. Yeah, I agree. They they sure uh, they sure have and uh, um, having the uh, <laughs> the big one uh, right there at the end of that race too, um, coming to the that was coming to the checker, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was coming to the checker, and and uh, Matt Snyder, yeah, man, got I, turned I swear, and, I, I, well, it was a bad wreck. Don't get me wrong, but I swear that car wasn't put together good or something, man. Great dude, it just day. shredded it. I mean. I know he got up in the fence, I know, but 
dude, it just ripped the rear end out of it, ripped the motor out of it. Ripped, I mean, it, it just like the motor just fell out of it. I'm like, I don't still see how that car put together that because good, every the frame all around. Because you know, with Kyle Larson, that happened to Kyle Larson, the whole front of the car was gone. I mean, the right. front clip was gone completely. My Snyder's car, who and he's driving for uh, South Carolina on there, Jordan Anderson. Yep. Uh, the front clip was still all there. Yeah. I mean, other than suspension hanging off of it, but motor just gone out of it. I mean, everything. Just motor transmission, there. transmission I mean, tunnel even gone. You can see up in the car. Yeah. I mean, it looked, and I think the spindle was in. Uh, it was in Michael Jordan's bus. It looked like, yeah. I said, good lord, like it just everything just <laughs> disintegrated off that car. Um, but I, I will know. say, I mean, the cockpit area. Was, oh yeah, he come out good, and you know, thank. Says, for, say he had a little leg injury. Say he should should be fine, but yeah, well, good, but um. So uh, yeah, but. <clears throat> I I don't know. It, it it was a good race. It was kind of a a traditional mm, Daytona Super Speedway race, I guess. Yeah, they all were really honestly. Um, yeah, Austin Hill got up there. And yeah, was able to take that win in that his really cool. first race for um, RCR. Yeah, that's pretty cool for sure. And uh, um, that's a big old dude, man. I didn't realize he was yeah, so big. That's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big old guy coming out of there, so. Uh, but anyway, um, so I guess before we go to Sunday, we uh, we ended up after we were at the wedding. So after the Xfinity race, we switched over to flow racing and watched our buddy Derek Griffith run <clears throat> last night at New Smyrna. Yep. Um, did he I think he started eighth, I believe. He did. If I remember That's right. right. And uh, he he fell back to eleventh and pretty much sat there the whole night. Didn't uh, didn't perform very well that night and. Who knows what's going on? They had, had a, some technical issues. Yeah, they had a mechanical issue of some sort. I haven't talked to him. I need to. Um, they had a mechanical issue Thursday night, I think it was. They were off Friday night with that car. Yep. Um, and I don't know what they had to do to it, but apparently it just wasn't as fast. Yeah, it just wasn't hooking up. But uh, I don't think it really mattered. Cause, uh, no. Um, Oh, William Byron, he, he went and run two nights at Jeez. New Smyrna, Sucks. and I just assumed there would be nobody else out there both nights, because uh, he... Uh, he bought lap the field. I mean... Yeah. I, I mean, mean was, honestly, almost lap the field. He was on a rail. He was, and I mean, I know, you know, but I don't know. It's just, uh, good Lord, that it, it wasn't a very exciting race. They never even showed him hardly at all on floor racing. They were showing the race for second. Yeah, because he was for, gone. But, yeah, he was he was literally gone. But um, so anyway, it's always cool to see that down there. Um, I didn't see who ended up winning the the, the World Series down there. Uh, uh, Sammy Smith. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured he would. Yeah, he ended up winning. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I think Derek finished second. Yeah, well, he had a good run. Um, you know. But hey, I mean, you've got two two first and a second in three years. Um, that's pretty daggone not good. Not too shabby. So. <laughs> That's pretty uh, daggone good. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, so hats off to them guys, and they got a big year coming up. I know they'll be running the late model a lot. Uh, they're going to be running Xfinity you got as well. Xfinity races lined up. Um, yeah, so keep on checking on Derek Griffith for sure. He's an awesome dude and a, definitely a wheel man, and uh, we look forward to rooting him on and, and seeing him, uh, see him on track. I hope he can come. They didn't announce all the Xfinity races. Maybe we can talk him into coming to Darlington for that one. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. <laughs> that sure would be. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens there. But um, anyway, so moving on Sunday, I guess um, it, it was it was kind of a father leader for most of it. We all kind of, I kind of figured that most of the time. I mean, it's, it's, it's. A 500 mile race, and you're gonna save your stuff no matter what kind of car you're driving. I think you're gonna do that, and they did, which is what I kind of figured. And um, they did really in NASCAR, did really in the dog tracking, they did a lot, which a lot. I, I'm so glad because that looked it was hard. still a little bit skewed, a little bit, but yeah, they reeled a lot of it, it in, was, yeah, uh, for sure. So, um, and uh, <clears throat> the Thursday night, I guess it was, the duels. Um, Brad Kozlowski and I think well one was Joel Logano, was it? No, uh, Brad Kozlowski and... Um, 
It was oh. his teammate. Oh, my Lord. The other Roush Fieldway guys like me. Oh, that's bad, ain't it? Um, they change them around every five seconds. I can't keep up with it. Oh, they, cha- they traded him for... Uh, oh, that's going to bother me now. Busher? Yeah. 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 Chris Busher. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, anyway, sorry about that. Um, they uh, they confiscated the wheels. Um, but they did. They confiscated Logano's also. Right. So... And from what we could see, it was basically just deburring the hole. So I don't know if anybody's seen these wheels yet, but there's a there's a, a bunch of holes. Pin hole, yeah, pin holes, they call them on the back of it. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of holes. It's like a blind hole that, in the back of these wheels. I'm not sure how many there is, but there's a no. bunch of them in there. Uh, I'm not sure how many pins there are on the spindle. Um, but that's how it locates. So it's not a stud, of course. This is those. I guess if you will, I guess it will be a stud. But right. Um, I'm not sure if there's a stud for every hole or if it's just more I, so. It, I would say there's probably five of them in there, right. five or six. So um, anyway, I really want to see one of these hub assemblies. Yeah, you, up close, I haven't so. seen one, but um, but there's a, there's there's the spindle there with the studs, and then there's a bunch of holes in the back of the wheel, and instead of them lining up five stud threaded studs they line up those studs and put the single uh nut on uh well supposedly they were basically deburring the holes yeah on the back of the wheel they were, saying, they were saying after they put them on and off a couple of times they get kind of uh i guess kind of dinged up on the inside from throwing well, them on there absolutely it should be they they should <laughs> um and you know my question is especially on an aluminum wheel Right. Well, and also they probably get elongated. I mean, it's aluminum wheel with a lot of torque, a whole lot of torque. And I mean, we you know we we, we deal with aluminum a lot, and you know I'm sure that's a steel stud. Can't be an aluminum stud. So right. I'm sure some type of steel stud, um, holding those wheels on. So like you said, over over the length of a race or whatever, I know that those wheels get, um elongated or, or the holes in them get elongated or burred up or whatever um so from what i could see they were just deburring the front of the hole to get stud going how much clearance is on those studs it's got to be a good bit of clearance got to be because there's no way they can line up if they got five thousand clearance no you never up. get it on you never get it on um so you know there's a lot that i don't know there but um Suppose that's all they were trying to do is just make it. Well, what he said, he Brad Kozlowski himself said they were trying to make it safer because if one of those studs got caught up on one of the, I get, we'll call it burrs, got caught up as they were tightening nut, and you felt like it was tight when when the impact was going down on it and it tightened up, right? And you come off of it, and it's not exactly actually tight because it was caught up on it. It was basically caught on one in burrs, right? then you'd have a loose, you, you'd well, pull a Kaz Grala. We saw some wheels come off. <laughs> <laughs> you'd pull a Kaz Grala. So that may have very well been the problem. It know? could have been. You know, but, but you know, I'm not knocking them. I don't like the single nut thing. No, but, but I will say if there was five on there, most likely you're not going to leave five loose. No, you're not. No, you're done. You're not at all. But, you know, nonetheless, they'll figure out all that kind of stuff. They'll get it uh, worked out. And it'd be better. Um, Hadn't heard anything yet about penalties for Kaz Grala's team. We'll see if we hear anything about that. Well, I think once they determine what happened, that's what I was say. Can, if it's a part yeah. failure, or I'd be saying the nut broke. I know it must have broke. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so anyway, nonetheless, um, Brad Kozlowski looked strong. He was. Uh, it's hard to tell though, from a team standpoint and from a year standpoint about Daytona. I, yeah, I, I don't put pace. no weight on that, uh, and I, I'm not gonna put on any weight on next week either. Honestly, no California Auto Club, whatever no, you want to call no, it. I, I'm not either. So we'll see. Uh, kind of as as five six races click off here, kind of see where they're at. But um, no, once they get to Las Vegas, I kind of put a little more stock in that. Right. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, but they ran good and. Um, there was a there was well I don't know there was some decent racing up front here and there um, nothing 
too crazy. I, I think they're still learning the cars a lot. Still oh, learning yeah. uh, what they're doing around, how they react around other cars. Um, I will say one thing, and this went on there during the race. From what I can see, um, pit stops don't really look any different, though. I will say that with the one nut. They don't no, really because look, of the fuel. Yeah. yeah. They um, don't have to go as fast, actually. Right. Your, uh, your changer, actual tire changer, uh, don't necessarily have to go at quite as fast if there's a full full fuel stop. I agree. I, I feel like you're going to see, I'm going to say it, I don't know, let, well, let's say uh, California. If they come down, because you know how that tire track eats tires anymore. That track's wore out, eats tires. They're doing away with the whole track. It's going to be a little half-mile track. Um, so I, I say that one, if it comes down to a late race caution and they don't need fuel, but they want tires, that's where you're going to see the difference in pit stops. Yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> For sure. Um, and I'm, you know, I don't know. They, they <laughs> I can see them switching to a, a Formula One type fuel cell for too long. I hope not. Um, shoot. And it'd be a, <laughs> yeah, it'd be a, 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 a three second stop or some crazy nah, stuff like that. Not. But I hope not. Uh, I hope they continue to have. Uh, it's like they put out the idea a few years ago with the air jacks on the cars. Right. I yeah. hope not. I hope not. And I, I think they got a pile of blowback on that quick. And they yeah. were like, nah. Yeah, well, I get it because they're trying to keep as many people off of pit road as they can. Right, you know, right. less, less people to say for it is. Um, but there's some things, man, you just gotta, man, man, that's old school. You gotta leave something. You old gotta school. leave something. Gone. Well, I mean, this is my thing, but this is still my thing. And yes, I get stock cars are not a stock car anymore. I get that, but they're like, Oh, we want to go back to the, 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 and I'm going to get on your, your one lug nut thing here for a second because they're like, Oh, we want to get them back looking like cars come off showroom floor. Okay. Which one of them has one lug nut? No, no. I think I, I don't mind the number pushing forward anymore. I'm just whatever. I, and it's not my favorite. I wish I would have pushed it back instead of forward, but whatever. I don't even care about that. The cars look great, really. Body lines, all that stuff looks really good. The hood, especially on the, uh, let's say, the Camaro, mm-hmm. the louvered hood, look very similar to Camaro you had. Right. Oh, absolutely. And sure so, do. I mean, looks cars look awesome. Which one of them's got a dag on? <laughs> single lug nut none of them no no yeah i don't know man there's uh i guess it's just a we gotta just get with it i guess i, I mean i guess know. there's some scientists out there that says hey this one lug nut safer i don't see how but I we guess ain't had a wheel come off and since kyle bush left his pit stall with none attached yeah, at atlanta, atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> exactly so. um we ain't had none of them come off and then first race with it we got somebody with a wheel coming off. Right. <clears throat> There's a lot to see on you know, I, I guess we'll give it we'll give it time to see what what uh what they improve and uh how this car does in, in the mile and a half and stuff like that. We'll see. But um yeah. So uh anyway, Austin Cendric, man, got his his rookie debut, debut. race win. I think at he was, Daytona. Yeah. At the five hundred, how you? That's man. That's some Trevor Bain stuff there. That's like going hunting <laughs> for your first time and shooting a twelve point. You just can't, might as well retire. You be, he might as well quit. But that's <laughs> it. He's just. I'm hey, done. that's like that's like what I did. I bowled my three hundred game. Quit. That's what you should do. That's what I did. Well, Ain't hardly great. bowled since. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, um, but anyway, uh, good weekend they told them. Uh, they'll be headed back to the West Coast this weekend. Uh, for Fontana. Um. Had been there in a in a good while. Uh, Seems like forever. Yeah, so uh, they'll be back this uh, this weekend. So check that out for sure, and uh, we'll see how the car does this week. Yeah, I think we'll. Uh, maybe it'll be good. I hope so. Yeah, I I feel like I'm just going to put it out there. I feel like as a car, as they figure out little things on the car, it's going to look more just like the old car. It's not going to look. I mean, you know what I'm saying, as far as racing product, I feel like we're going to see the same thing on the track. I agree. I do. I sure do. I uh, hate that, but I do agree to that. So, um, <clears throat> hey, we just we won't beat a dead horse until it's time to, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> until we last do. year, <laughs> until we do. Uh, but hopefully it'll be good. But anyway, we'll see. But uh, yeah, man. So bunch of asphalt stuff and uh, there's a pile of dirt stuff going. Pile on of there. dirt stuff too, man. They was at Volusia. It felt like forever. Yeah, yeah. Finally, the 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 weather cooperated for them, um, and they're able to get some stuff done. For sure, and uh, while they were down there, like we said, Stuart Friesen on board with SRI Performance uh, down there with our buddy Randy Keene all week, and uh, the reason he's on board with SRI Performance, man, is because they support the racer. They do. I mean, I mean, not just with, you know, obviously products, but all them guys run them stickers on the car for a reason. It's because they know they can get help through SRI performance. Absolutely. They got a lot of help, technical help. Um, anything you can name, man, you call them up, they're going to help you out. I mean, it's just, they've got everything. Now, if you're looking for one specific part that you, you don't even find in a catalog, you can call uh, call SRI. and they, know, they got somebody there to know something about it. I can promise you that. Absolutely. They sure do. Um, <clears throat> brake guys, motor guys. <laughs> rear end guys, tire guys, you name it, they got them. You got people over there like Randy Keene on the brake side and Chad Elliott on the motor side and all them guys. I mean, best of the best, man. <laughs> best of the best, I all promise right. you. Like they say, it's the one stop shop for all things all racing. All things racing. That don't mean just parts. I mean, that's 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 everything, man. Support too. So absolutely, y'all head over to sriperformance.com, get everything you need there. And um, they'll they'll hook you up and get you going and uh, fill up that cart with all of your products that you need. Uh, put in promo code C-Bone, Tennessee is in. Chicken. B-O-N-E-1-0. Get yourself 10% off at time of checkout. Absolutely. And uh, same deal over at Stock Car Steel. Same, you know, it, it might be a different shop, different guys, but it's the same same thing. Uh, you need a special material to do a special project that you need. Uh, call them up. Absolutely. They they got it, can get it. You you know all about it. <laughs> they got it all, man. They do. Um, building a race car, to building a grill, or building a deer stand, or building pff, the, the 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 type of work we do for plants and mills and everything else around here. They got it all for you. So uh, anybody in the industry that needs that type of material. Go check them out. Um, if you uh, got a fab shop, don't forget they can supply you with uh, all your welding gases and weld supplies for sure too. There, so uh, definitely go hit them up, and uh, you won't be disappointed, man. They'll uh, they'll take care of you as always. If you're up there in uh, Race City, as they call it, you know Mooresville, Charlotte, all Concord, all that area. Uh, if you're up there, hit them up. If you need some welding supplies, they will bring it to you. Bring it to you. Can't be that. Not with a stick. <clears throat> exactly. Not with a stick. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, there's going to be some more racing going on here. Um, we got two places to go either this weekend. I can, Like I was talking about, with Stuart Friesen. And I think I'm going to hit up there because I've talked with him with SRI. Um, Cherokee's running Big Block Modifieds. Yeah, that's awesome. This weekend. So uh, if you're in that area, be sure to head out there. Talk about that here, some more here in a minute. But also, it is North Carolina Speed Week. And uh, running over there at the Fayetteville Motor Speedway is going to be our buddy here, Mr. Willie Milliken. Willie, what is going on with you, man? Oh, not much, man. Just working, trying to get everything solved so we can get home and get racing. I hear you, man. I hear you. You work, you, you work too hard. What, what's the deal? Work hard, play harder? Is that, is that, is that, is that the deal this week? The harder I work, the better I can make the company, the more I'm playing I get to do. There you go. <laughs> it's a good motto there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but it's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it make you old fast. Willie ain't but 25. Y'all wouldn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I wish I was 25 again. Oh, uh, what's up, man? I ain't hardly talked with you since we uh, hung out up there at the uh, the um, Cars Racing Show. Oh, no, much. Just been trying to get our stuff together. We... Put all put some cars together and got Mason's cars together and just trying to get everything lined up together. I hear. How many cars y'all got ready to roll this year? Oh, well, I got two of Mason's. And got one more to finish of his, and I got my two. There you go. There you go. Yes, sir. 
Ready to ride. Ready to ride is what I like to hear. Well, coming up this week uh, at, uh, like we said, Fayetteville Motor Speedway, North Carolina Speed Weeks, uh, we're going to be doing some racing over there. You're going to be running some uh, crate and limited stuff, ain't you? Yes, sir. We're going to um, we're going to take the orders about that little 602 class, and then we got that limited race that uh, we're supposed to start in the back if the racetrack's right and try to come to the front. I, I, I must fix say, I've been hearing some stuff about that. Uh, what, what's going on with that deal? Well, they've been some uh, people throwed up some stuff and Talking about if we went to the back, me and Christian, and won the race, that we would get X amount of dollars, which is pretty high up there. Um, but uh, I accepted the challenge, and he accepted the challenge, so I recommend he was going to go to the back and see what we can do. As long as the racetrack's got a berm, and we can get there. Now, if the racetrack is just a one good racetrack, probably where we qualify is where we're going to start. We're not even going to work. It ain't worth it, you know? Yeah. If you can't pass. Well, hey, I mean, it's, it ain't nothing unusual for you to go to the back at least one time a race, ain't it? Yeah. Hell, it's <laughs> fun back there, hell. It makes, it makes you embrace you, one of the two. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> no. If y'all don't know out there, me and Willie give each other a hard time. We, we, we're we good buddies, and uh, we pick around with each other a lot, so there ain't no telling what comes out of our mouths on here. <laughs> No, because uh, me, me and you got a certain way of talking to one another. I think we make and it, it. It works out. Yeah, we do, and I think we make people, other people, uncomfortable when we're, we're around each other. Well, the thing about that is, they they just don't know how to handle two gentlemen the way we are. That's all. <laughs> exactly. It is. To uh, to um, high, highly class gentlemen. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's Some right. of the stuff we say might not be high class. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out a little unrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh we have fun well cool man well um the 602 stuff man i see and there's gonna be a look like gonna be a good handful of cars going coming over there oh yeah they got um they got a quite stout a, a quite stout of field coming there and uh it'll be fun just to get around with them guys and you know get my my feet out i run it a little bit last year with uh aj balance car that they were nice on something to drive it but it ain't nothing like you know it ain't nothing like been going and Trying to prepare yourself with your own stuff right now. See what you can do. Well, tell us, tell everybody about. Uh, let's go with that car first. Uh, tell everybody about what kind of equipment you run. Oh, that's a um, that's a very right uh, chassis icon. It's got a uh, Earl Ramey motor. Mm-hmm. That old Joker. <laughs> and uh, so, I don't know if he knows how to do the motor or not. We just gonna give him a shot. There you go. There uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean it's it's going it's a good piece. I think it's uh, it's the car I run the cash money race with last year at the end of the year. It ain't got a couple races on it, and uh, I think it's the right style piece. I think it's going to be pretty good for it. I think it will too. And as uh, far as your uh, as far as the limited car, there it's another uh, Barry Wright icon, correct? Yeah, it's a um, Barry Wright icon with. Uh, some Willie Milligan twists and trades on it. I mean, it's we we kind of changed it up from just being a straight up icon. It's a car like I I wanted to design, and we tested it, and it was really really good at Lakeview. I mean, it was really fast. I might. So have I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, that's a the, the, the first time. What was that? I tested it last Sunday for the first time. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. That's um sure. good stuff. Well, that's what I was going to talk to you about. I know you had uh, said that Barry kind of loosened the reins on you and let you do some stuff that that you wanted to do to the car. Uh, how'd you talk him into that? Well, Barry, you know he's an icon of himself. You know what I mean? He's been around racing a long. And, you know, he really don't have a house car right now, so I feel like I'm trying to step into a role to help progress better on the icons which they're great cars but if i can give them some feedback to help cars better i just feel like that's that's the way to go i mean he's backing me 100 percent on trusting me and, and i trust him on what he does you know what i mean so we kind of pump their heads together and this is the newest and greatest thing or or something else i don't know <laughs> but I, when i tested it the other night i was very pleased with what i had i mean it was it's faster than my other car by at least two tenths, I know for a fact. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. So I'm I'm tickled with it. I really am. I don't blame you. I would be too. 
I definitely would be. What kind of a uh, power plant you got in that one? It's got a Vic Hill in that one. Cool. cool. Uh, it's a steel block when we here for like steel block magnet deal. Oh yeah. I'm gonna run it in that. Yeah. That's what I was about to ask you here. Um, far as uh 2022, I know me and you talked about some, like I said at the, at the trade show there, but uh, we hadn't, you know, for whatever reason, you you've been avoiding us and finally just now coming here on the podcast with me and hanging out. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, what I told you, when you ain't got nobody you can talk to, you always call me. I'm the last person on the list. Oh, I don't even want to hear that. Yeah, oh, I never geez. get a first class oh, ticket. Oh, that, that that's a lot. You you couldn't you couldn't think of nobody else to call. That's what that, it was. That's a lie. No, just everybody else turned me down. But <laughs> See, that's one thing. Everybody turned you in. You knew I couldn't turn you because, hell, I ain't got nothing to do but talk to you. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you was the first person I messaged this morning. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to tell you what. I'm, uh, I know what's going to happen. Right now. I'm going to get out this. I'm going to have to walk in somewhere. I'm going to get shot by something. Yeah, uh huh. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. I told you. I told you. Last on the list, I told you, even told you, Hickory, you wouldn't even talk to me. You ain't talked to everybody around there until you got five minutes to go. Then you said, Willie, you want to come over and be on the show? Hey, I had to close out on a high note. <laughs> you got the lowest person on the totem pole to close out with. What are you talking about, though? I started with you. You was the, fir- you was the first and the last interview. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we make it fun anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So you talk about the Steel Block Bandit deal this year. Uh, man, they have uh, up their race count, and uh, you're going to look to improve your points positions by a couple positions this year. Yeah, I mean, I, that's something I want to do on the back gym because he's really thrown out the money and really thrown out a good series. And, I mean, I think it's one of the best series out there besides going super racing. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And it works with a lot of our schedules. And I really think that uh, he's got a good thing going, and it takes you different places. And I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's it's going to be a, a blast, and get to race against a bunch of guys that you hadn't raced against, and and certain places. I mean, if you're going to try to run with the best, you might as well, or try to be the best, you might as well run with the best. Well, I'm gonna tell you, man. Uh, you was right there in the hunt that uh, in 2021. So. Uh... And I know there was a lot of changes went on for you in 2021 throughout the entire year. So, I mean, coming into a deal like you got now with the cars, knowing the cars, knowing you're getting better pieces than, than what you had, um, man, I, I'm I'm expecting big things. Well, I'm expecting for me and Chicken Bone Alley talk a lot in the winter circle. That's what I'm expecting. Hey, every time you win, you call in. That's, that's, all, that's, that's your deal. I'm, I'm going to. I'm <laughs> going to. I'm telling you. I told my guys and my wife and, went, and my car and I went into this deal for this year, I said, look, I feel the best I felt in a long time behind the wheel of a car. I said, my body feels good. I feel good. Um, I said, and everything we're working forward to, we got good motors. we got good good chassis. I said, I just feel like the year, this year is going to be our year. And uh, I feel like we're going to win a bunch of races. I mean, I, 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 I just got that feeling. Hey, I like it. I like it. I hope oh, that's I, I hope it's true. <laughs> well, it's like I told him. I got to put my big poor hands back on and quit just taking what I get, going go back the way I used to do it and take it instead of getting letting letting them take it from me. There you go. And we'll set we'll settle whatever after after that's after the race. Well, I'll be there. They want to do it. I'll be there with you when I can. You know that. <laughs> oh, I know that. I know that. Well, I, and I got my chicken bone alley sticky on the back, so to tear my spoiler off and be mad about it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'll tear spoil off and beat somebody with it. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, I hear you, man. Well, cool deal. Well, uh, tell everybody who's all helping you this year and who all helps you get to the track and makes it work for you. Well, first of all, I got to thank MJ Price. You know, Mason and Lauren Price saved my car owners, and they're the ones that make this really happen. I mean, we get to do the work. They're 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 paying the bills and letting us have fun. So, I mean, I, they they're my biggest supporters and my biggest my biggest people behind me then i got east coast towing which is brian sullivan he helped me i got bge which is uh bell Groves enterprise um i got keith williams which he's in the shop all week trying to tinker with everything keep everything going uh i got vic hill uh barry wright um hell i'm trying to thank everybody uh i got <laughs> i got agent R trash i got shaw uh construction um I got to give a big shout out to uh, Full Boys Racing, um, Mark, Luke, and Barry. I mean, they've been big helps with me with this car, getting it all dialed in. So, I mean, I got to give a big shout out to them, and they're gonna help us this year too. 
And I got to thank, you know, Brian, by, I mean, Hoosier by Brian, you know, he, he helps us get our tires and stuff. Uh, but mo- most importantly, I mean, I want to thank God. I mean, he's letting us be able to do it and, and give us the opportunity to do what we can do and be healthy. And then I got to thank my wife because she's going to kill me if I don't. I should so, say you better. <laughs> yeah. No, she's she's my big backbone. She's She takes care of a lot of things behind the scenes people don't see, and she does a lot of things in front of the scene. But my guys... I mean, each and every one of them. I mean, they don't know how much I really do appreciate them, and they're there when I ain't, when I when I can't do it. They're always just stepping in and trying to help out. So I, I owe every one of them guys a big gratitude and thanks. And I mean, they're 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 the whole team that's making Willie win. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. I can't leave Jimmy out. Jimmy Shields now. My my dirt rap now. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah we can't leave Jimmy out because he's there. And I got. Copper spike, I got to bring him up too. So, I mean, we we've got quite a few sponsors. I probably left some of them out, but it's hard to remember them all. I have to look at the car. That's bad, ain't it? There you go. Hey, hey, that's a good problem to have there. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait! I can't think of forget about this one. My big buddy Sherwood MW Tow. There you go. I um, mean, he stuck with me through ups and downs and. Um, I'm hoping to have a good, successful year with him and bring bring him back another championship so he can have a plaque on his wall for him. Awesome. Well, it's going to happen. Yes, I, f- I feel like it's going to oh, happen this year, man. It's going to have to happen one way or another. It might be an up and down year, but we're going we're gonna to make it up all the way, I hope. Sweet, man. Well, cool. Well, buddy, I'm going to tell you what. I wish you the uh, best of luck here at uh, North Carolina Speed Week. Head over to Fayetteville Motor Speedway track that you have uh, won quite a few races at. Yes, sir. Uh, how, how do you – I know uh, – I hadn't really talked to you about it. Me and Crystal talked about it one day. But uh, how's your feelings about the track since it got shortened and, or, you know, just reconfigured completely? Well, I mean, Dave and them coming in, they changed the racetrack to a little, little bull ring. Um, I like the big racetrack because it was one of the big racetracks we had to race on and really let let everything go. But, um, I mean, I got to give them props. Him and Wayne Gray has really tried to make it racy over there. So, I mean, I don't, I don't mind changes. And I, I think it's, I think it's going to be a decent little racetrack this year. I think they about got all the bugs worked out and I think they're going to have some hell of a there, especially the speed week. I believe it's going to be one hell of a show and I, I, and I, I applaud them for it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I came over there last year with you over there, and uh, we had some fun over there. That was a that was a good race that they had when you were driving AJ's car. And, oh uh, yeah, and so that was. I think it'd be even better this year. So, so it'd be well, good to go. Well, Thursday night's open. You might as well come on and hang out with us and just ride this ride with me the Thursday night. I I might just do it. I might just do it. Because I'm, I'm, I got one, one spot I got to get, and they don't pay for one. That's, that's the one I need to get. There you go. <laughs> well, maybe, well, maybe you can make that, uh, that little Earl Ramey racing engine work for you. There. Oh, uh, I told Earl yesterday. I said you're gonna have to make that thing go. I'm telling you, got to get Earl. Said, oh shit, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> that sounds like Earl. Yep. He said, now I got to go. He said, I got to go to Vietnam now. I said, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh. Well, good he's got to take a break, you know. He's got to take a break, which I know Earl's always on break. <laughs> he acts like he's working in South Debbie's always on break. <laughs> Some, somebody no, working I, over there. Somebody I'll working. I tell you what, I do give Earl applause. I mean, because he he is pretty stout, and you know, I mean, he he does a lot of great work. But I do want, I do got an, uh, another great motor too. I want to give Corey Headscott. You know, he's pretty good too so i mean i can't wait to, to do that too oh yeah for sure for sure yes sir well cool man well i appreciate you hanging out with us today buddy and uh i'm gonna probably see you soon man. well i hope i can see you thursday you gotta bring me some more stickers though all right I and a hat and a hat i'll thought- give you a hat for a hat but my hat ain't worth nothing well, I had one of your hats, and it was like... Did you sell it for 50 cents? No, well, see, it was worth like 20 bucks, and then you signed it, and I couldn't even get nothing for it after that. Damn it. <laughs> I knew my appendix wasn't that good. <laughs> and I signed your name to it. That was the problem. <laughs> well, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. we just give you a hat and don't sign nothing to it. We'll sign somebody that, that somebody really likes. We'll put Josh Richards' name on Maybe you can sell it better. I'll go find Chris Ferguson. Maybe we can get him to sign it. 
Well, yeah, get Chris to sign it. <laughs> yeah, we'll split the money on it. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh, dang. Nah, man. That's cool. But I do got a pair of thongs, I, I, wild child thongs I'm going to give you so you can wear around the racetrack. I will wear it. I'll wear it. Just, I'm telling you. Just to aggravate you. <laughs> No, you ain't going to act with me. I got a pair. I'll get a pair on too with you. I think so. You probably got a pair on right now. No, not not quite. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> not quite on that one. That'd be, that'd be pretty, though. It would be. That would, that, that'd be awesome <laughs> just to see somebody in a pair like that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you walking around with your camera and your chicken bone alley hat on. Yeah. Have a halter top and thong. Boy, you look good in it walking <laughs> on a racetrack. You know. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't know how many pictures you're gonna get. Oh, you probably get a lot took of you. I was gonna say there'd be a lot took of me. I'd be, I'd be Facebook famous. I can promise you that. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. You would. And I, and I put you right on the cover of it. Teen Wild Child mascot. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. I'd have you hooked up. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, boy. Well, I sure appreciate it. And uh, and and like I said, best of luck to you this week, man. Well, I appreciate it, man. We're going to need it. And like I said, I just hope we have some good racing, safe racing, and everybody have fun, and God's with us. That's all. For sure, buddy. All right, man. I'll be talking with you. All right, brother. Y'all be good and enjoyed it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the wild child himself, Mr. Willie Milliken. Appreciate him coming on here, hanging out with us. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, he's something else, for sure. He is wide open, that's for sure, <laughs> always. That's how he got the name The Wild Child, though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But, uh, you know, as he kind of spoke about, you know, as we always say, remember racing engines, man, they're everywhere. They're up front. Everywhere. they everywhere. They sure are, you know. So, uh, definitely top-notch, best of equipment you can get. Um, as we say every week, uh, get on the list. Get up there and get you one, get you one built from him. Um, you ain't going to find a better motor nowhere. Uh, where it be a crate, where it be a super, limited, whatever. It don't matter. There's bunches of them, so uh, definitely go check them out and get you some time on the uh, chassis dyno while you're there. That's right. You don't ever find uh all that secret horsepower, if you will, if you don't. So I'll uh, go check it out and uh and you know he'll definitely help you out and find you some different places to make up some horsepower where you need it. Well, you know one thing that can uh add you a good little bit of horsepower, and you can. This has been proven on his chassis dyno quite a few times. What's that? Get you some profab headers. Absolutely. Get you some profab headers put on that bad boy, and uh, you're gonna you gonna you gonna pick up all kind of horsepower. Yeah, no you doubt. Didn't even know it was there. No doubt, man, for sure. Uh, the best is the best for sure. Um, top of line equipment, and you know they they match well with some Earl Remy racing engines. That's for sure. They do. They really do. Uh, Earl does a lot of work with Profab headers, so uh, call Andrew up over at Profab, and he can uh, hook you up, get you the best thing that work for your type car, Uh, super, crate, anywhere in between. That's right. Uh, They got a little bit of everything also. So call Profab headers. Quality that wins. That's it. Oh, man. Oh, Willie, something else there. He, uh, he sure is. They're going to go around. He don't need nobody marketing for him, I don't think. No, nah, he's the best marketing person he's got. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> He he definitely got that covered, I believe. He got it going on. He got it going on. Willie's a good buddy of mine, so that's why we give each other a hard time all the time, and it's, it's fun. That's just our relationship. We have fun with it. So uh, I appreciate him coming on today and uh, – Hanging out with us. Been wanting to get him on for a long time, and schedule just ain't ever matched up. But I know everybody's seen him on there. I've had him on lives. I don't know how many times when we actually at the racetrack. So always hanging out with him there. So, but uh, so yeah, that's fun, 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 fun. And uh, like I said, North Carolina Speed Weeks head over to Fayetteville Motor Speedway. Uh, they will be running the Inex Legend Series. Uh, we gonna have there gonna be some modifieds over there. Um, uh, crate late models, the I ninety five late models as they call them over there. Uh, Willie's gonna be running both uh crate um Thursday and Friday, and then gonna be running the limited on Saturday. Well, he's gonna qualify practice and qualify the limited on Friday too. So. A lot of action. A uh, lot of action. I'm going to tell you what, last year, the uh, late models, everything was great, but I'm going to tell you what was uh, 
awesome to watch last year was the legend cars. There were so many legend cars there. I mean, it took forever for them to run their uh, heats and everything just because there were so many. Um, that's kind of the one of their biggest deals um, around, period. So that's a, it's a big deal for the legends, and, and kind of wish I was there running, honestly. Yeah, you should. <laughs> nah, I shouldn't yet. Maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year. Maybe that might, might be on the agenda next year. Yeah. Get over there and run it. So, But anyway, um, speaking of legend cars and every other type of car, I want to throw in MPM, McAllister Precision Marketing. Tanya's got it going on over there. Um, I'm going to tell you what, these guys moving up from legend cars and to, you know, any other form of racing, you need to get with Tanya at MPM for sure. Uh, she can um, point you in the right direction because we know that that marketing nowadays is what makes sport of racing continue because um, I, I'll throw it out there, you know, unfortunately it's, it's money that makes this, this sport go round, and you got to have good marketing partners to put you in the right direction to get that right money from the right person uh, or right company or everything else. And Tanya at MPM can uh, can point you in that direction and she can hook you up with, you know, and, and it's just so, so good with, with your career advancement or, and, and digital design website help, uh, a social media, um, like I said, just marketing partner in any way, shape, or form you can think of. So get in touch with Tanya, MPM, and uh, tell her we sent you. Also, going on this week, though, um, not quite in North Carolina. It's right there at the state line, though. As it's Cherokee Motor Speedway, as I was talking about earlier. They're going to have the big block modifieds up there. Uh, our buddy Derek McGrew Jr. going to be coming down, racing. Uh, along, like I said, with Stuart Friesen, all them boys, all the stars of of uh of big blocks, gonna be heading back up from Florida, right? Making a stop here in South Carolina, over there at Cherokee Speedway in Gaffney, South Carolina. That'd be a good show. Um, definitely gonna be a good show. Gonna be a packed house. I think I'm gonna head that way. That's 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 my uh that's my plan anyway. Go up there Friday. And check that out. So that'd be sweet. That'd be good. That'd be good. 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 Um, but as I was, uh, ho- hopefully I get up there. You know, I do want to talk about a little bit. Uh, Stuart Freese in there with the uh, marketing. Uh, with, with the you know, as we were just talking about marketing, uh, with the uh, you know, sponsorship by SRI Performance and the uh, marketing partner that they are, Team SRI Motorsports. If y'all haven't liked their page yet, go like the Team SRI Motorsports page. As it's a different page from the SRI Performance page. It is more focused towards the actual racing side. Um, shows you everybody on the track, uh, and it, but that they, they're trying to build the page. So what they're doing to build a page, Stuart Friesen is helping a good bit. Um, if if they gain so many followers, they want to gain three thousand followers this month. If to gain follow gain that many followers, somebody's gonna win free, one hundred percent free VIP passes to Pocono to hang out with uh with Stuart Friesen all day and his team. And that's gonna be that's gonna be a cool deal because you, I mean, you get VIP complete access. Um, you're definitely gonna want that. Uh, that's that's big, big, big. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You are gonna get to hang out with the guys from from SRI, from you know, and Stuart and all them, and then you are gonna be in the garage. Get to see everybody in truck series. It'd be a pretty cool deal. Absolutely, man. It sure would be. Um, so go check out Team SRI Motorsports and uh like their page. Get a chance to win. That's all you gotta do to just sign up for your chance, I guess, is like the page. 
Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So, uh, but anyway, we'll be out at uh, uh, do do Cherokee Speedway this week. We're hanging out with him, uh, doing stuff with him. Maybe we'll see if we can have Stewart. Maybe do a live with us, or maybe do a sit down interview while I'm there. We'll play it on the show next week. Who knows? Uh, something like that. Try to anyway. Not we'll have you know Derek McGrew Jr. and everybody else. <laughs> that's right. Other team SRI guys. Oh, uh, but anyway, so that's gonna be a good one. Head over to Cherokee then. But I do want to put this out there. Um, as I was talking about earlier, uh, I will be out at the Shamrock Skirmish at Livonia Speedway. That's playing as of now. That is March 18th and 19th. Um, it's going to be a fun deal. Going to be, uh, that is the ultimate street top stock challenge. Uh, $5,000 to win for street stocks. Big race. Big race. Big race. Big, big race. Uh, Friday's going to be qualifying and heat races. Uh, Saturday's only going to be the Street Stop B and A features. Be some other classes out there, too. Um, but that's the big deal for it. So, uh, good deal. I think I'm going to be doing a pit party Friday night and then do some driver interviews uh, Saturday uh, for a luncheon deal there. Uh, so y'all come out, hang out, and watch that. I uh, think I'm going to be uh, probably throwing some cameras on some cars also while I'm there. I've already been reached out to about that from some people. <laughs> Sweet. So a bunch of stuff going on in the next coming months here. It's growing up, man. Racing's back You're going to be the going. next Speed 51 for us. Yeah, I don't bit. think so. <laughs> it could happen. I'm going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to be. But uh, it's a fun deal, fun deal. Get ahead to a lot of a lot of cool races, a lot of times, and hang out with some cool people and see some cool stuff, all that good jazz. But anyway, well, what else we got? We got uh, like I said, we got got California Auto Club Speedway coming up this week. Yep. Uh, we didn't really get into Volusia as much. Um, bunch of different winners. Track was kind of crazy down there. Uh, we had any, everybody from, um, let's see, uh, I know Dale McDowell won another race. Dennis Sir won a race. Brandon Shepard was up there a lot. Brandon Shepard was up front. Um, uh, let's see who else. Um, oh, Chris Madden also won. So, a lot of. I don't think there was, I don't think anybody won two races. Um, Ashton Winger won the uh, makeup race for the uh, Sunshine Nationals while they were there, which is kind of cool. He, he jumped back in that. Yeah, absolutely. It kind of a uh, Gamble Motorsports kind of opened up there, and he jumped in that ride and has been doing really good in it. So cool to see there. Um, so anyway, I'll be watching all the racing going on this week. A lot coming up, man. Whole lot of it. Whole lot, whole lot of it. So, uh, anyway, guys. Well, I reckon we need to thank, as always, SRI Performance, Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, Earl Ramey Racing Engines, RK Motorsports Consulting, ProFab, Hitters and Exhaust. Also, ladies and gentlemen, always go check out Ford Bite Apparel. Um, they got a car about done for Cold Train, man. Yeah, it's looking good. It looked good. Looked real good. Catch Cold. They got a new design out. I also saw a Ford Bite. It was a very simple, clean design on T-shirts. Man, looks super good. Um, it was awesome to see uh, new stuff coming out for Ford Bite. Spring's coming. Get you some t-shirts. Yeah. Time to break them out. Yes, sir. Uh, so head over to Ford Bite Apparel. Get you some shirts and whatever else you want to do. Probably be having some uh, hoodies. All that stuff coming up here soon. Uh, all that fun jazz. Also, checkered the race hub. Y'all head over to the racing-only social media. Y'all need to get on board. So uh, y'all go check them out. MPM Marketing. Also, as always. But anyway, guys, uh, I guess that's about it, ain't it? 
I think that's it, Bubba. Keep watching your racing. A lot going on. A lot of places to watch it. Uh, don't miss them. Check it out. But uh, we'll be seeing you. I reckon uh, I'll probably have some lives going up this weekend from whatever racing we end up being at. Um, so uh, y'all check it out. Check us out on Facebook and all that fun stuff. You'll see it. Um, so anyway, guys, I guess we'll talk to you next time. Later. Later.